to make you a brief demonstration about the, our new model uh, space pipe. Uh, here uh, we have a, a very basic building structure, uh, which, you know, some uh, I beams, and I go to the model uh, space pipe, and here in space pipe we have different pump devices, like uh, single parts like straights, flanches, elbows, or nozzles, or reductions, or T's as well as uh, some pumps and uh, valves. I will uh, I will take a, a pump. The pumps are um, the standard sizes are in, in data files, so I, I can simply open a table and I select the uh, s the pressure and the suction side nominal diameter. I will take a 8 to 50 and take a electromotor size 90. I want to say this one okay and this will automatically uh, fill all the uh, pump parameters which you will see here as well as here and I simply select an origin for the pump and a direction uh, for the X axis the pump is uh, positioned and this pump has uh, two flanches the suction side and the pressure side so I have to if I want to continue with some piping elements, the first thing I should do is put a flange. Uh, select the flange menu and, auto and just click in the flange. Automatically the diameter is taken and the flange is selected. The next thing I will do is I want to add straight pipe elements. Uh, I could do it by simply adding one straight pipe uh, after each other or use this automatic piping functionality. I select automatic piping functionality, select select the uh, temperature class for the pipe. There are FARP coded codes, for example, you know, we can say that red is for hot water and uh, blue is for you know cold water. In this case I will select uh, red 2, like a, a temperature uh, class, and simply select the flange and start dragging this uh, three-dimensional uh, what we call uh, uh, pole star. By moving the pole star, uh, you know I could uh, either uh, you know move the pole star by uh, dragging it, or I can enter an exact number. For instance, here I can enter. Um, you know I could enter now, let's say, uh, you know, 500, and it will move exactly to 500. You know. And now I'll just move in this direction, 1,200, and it will move 1,200. As you see, while moving, the it automatically uh, adds the necessary uh, elbows uh, to the pipe. I will make a stop here and start from the other side and select uh, another. Um, we can keep the same same color. This will be the same temperature class anyway. So I select uh, this flange now and automatically of course the uh, the smaller pipe diameter is selected as well. So here we move and I can also move uh, up the pump uh, for instance here I want to come to the same uh, in direction uh, like this pipe for this, just simply select this two pipe and select the pipe, and it will automatically move to the same direction. Okay, right. And here I want to uh, use um, uh, some just to make a demonstration some uh, pumping uh, elements like a reducer. Take a reduction, select it. Uh, it says that. Uh, from the end 50, I want to go to the end 125. As you see here, and continue uh, with the bigger pipe. Here, uh, just for demonstration, I want to show you how we can add um, an elbow. We can select just you know uh, the end of the pipe, and this will automatically create an elbow. If I want to make a U-turn. It's enough to select next elbow, and with the polygon pipe again, we can you know we can uh, go. 
if I want to go to the same pipe level again just to say two pipe and select it and here I go down right and now uh, let's add uh, some uh, nozzles or T's I go to the uh, functionality adding a single pipe part I select T I can add a T part either at the end of the pipe or I can insert it into the middle of the pipe I can in this case I would say insert to the middle you know and um, the inserting function automatically inserts um, at the point where I select the pipe but of course later on I have the chance to modify it so I have the exact di dimensions of the of the you know uh, location of the T in this case first of all I will rotate the T you know like this and second I want to measure uh, the location of the T uh, from uh, level from this level at the moment is 9 uh, 509 I want to be at 400 millimeters you know and the T is automatically shifted to the position okay now I continue with the polygon again from this point go out and go up right maybe even more up so this was a T. Now uh, I show you how to add a, a nozzle. A nozzle is uh, will be added, also inserted into a straight segment. So all I have to do is just select uh, the nozzle diameter. Uh, of course, nozzle diameter 125 is too big for this small pipe. Maybe I take a smaller nozzle diameter of, you know, uh, let's say, a smaller one and start making the nozzle from here here again we can define the location of the nozzle exactly uh, at a certain distance I can say I want to create a reference plane here from this reference plane my nozzle should be exactly at 500 millimeters okay and uh, I also want to rotate my nozzle uh, you know this way out. If you want to tilt it, you can as well tilt it. I can tilt, you know, this way or that way in in any degree, and continue with the nozzle uh, from here. But now I want to go uh, exactly in this uh, in the same direction of the pipe. So I set my Z direction of my pole star, as you see. So I can uh, simply. Uh, move my, uh, you know, says that, um, of course, uh, you know, the elbows have a 90 degree angle, so it says it's not possible to move the this angle smaller than, okay, so we go like this. Here I want to go up to the same level of this pipe, say two pipe. We go to the pipe. Okay. And I want to go uh, up this way, uh, maybe to make the connection of the two pipes. All right. So uh, here we have, a, like, uh, also, uh, you know, caps. I want to close the end of this pipe for the time being the cap there are different base uh, you know standards for the capping uh, we have you know um, some DIN standards or NC or like a tank cap or a semisphere depending on uh, you know the standards we can use different caps also uh, flanges we have seen I have to produce and I want to add in this case maybe a, a valve uh, we have welding valves or uh, valves with the flashes. Uh, I should. I want to add here a valve, a uh, welding valve, uh, with a hand wheel. Just select to the end, and the welding valve uh, will come. 
here we have the we can change the parameters for the radius of the wheel the height of the wheel as well as we can rotate of course in any possible rotation you know you have if I want to give different par parameters uh, they are here to be, to be given okay and uh, maybe for demonstration purposes uh, I would like to add uh, here in between another valve for doing this I can simply uh, split uh, the pipe okay, at a point I just split it here and split it here and read the middle area and go to the single parts menu and add a flange here okay and then I want to add a um, a hand a valve with a handle but with flashes simply select this one it's automatically as you see a flash valve will come here again I rotate uh, in certain so in this direction and I say OK and uh, add a starting from uh, we need a flange here add another flange and after the flange we keep moving in this direction up to that point up to this point okay and uh, for the bridging uh, actually th this is um, uh, easy we have a special uh, function for this in the modify uh, functionality bridge uh, I can say this one and this one will be automatically uh, made to one one single piece and there is uh, there are uh, possibilities to do uh, certain modifications um, and we have here uh, different type of uh, elements o also now uh, we can add some hangers uh, for instance uh, for we want to I want to use this a vertical hanger uh, change the width maybe to 70 at this position a hanger will be uh, a symbolic hanger will be uh, added at, uh, to the straight pipe at this position Okay. Now I want to add another one to this position. Again, the position of the hangers uh, you can, as well as uh, you know, decide uh, from just by clicking a point, or you can give exact location. And all right, uh, for instance, here I could say uh, I want to uh, position a hanger here. Uh, at the exact position here I create a reference plane the you know, hangers I will position here a horizontal hanger okay as I said it is a, a symbolic you know uh, hanger because later on, uh, after the making the uh, the calculations, you can decide the about the size of the hanger. It's just a symbolic hanger at the moment. All right. So this is the uh, current status of the space pipe. Thank you very much.